Hudson, Richardson, or Tishani Hargate of, Hi of Heidel, Daniel King of Heidel, Kishi Rowe of Alfonso Davis, and Jodian Campbell of Heidel High. And with just about 200 meters run, the Heidel athletes are leading row of Alfonso Davis. Send this link. So 400 meters down. No. So how are they going to go? It's the class one girls, 1500 meters. Two laps remaining. Athletes are still closely bunched. Right. Just want to inform everyone the results now posted on the notice board to the left of the announcing table. So those of you who are looking for results, you can find that there. Daniel King leads. Final lap now. <laughs> Athletes are beginning to separate themselves a little bit more. Daniel King still leading just ahead of Tisha Rowe. Tishana Holgate in third. And Jodian Campbell in fourth as the race begins to open up now. So it's King and Row. Just about 220 meters to run. And Kishi Row beginning to make a move now. And Daniel. <coughs> King. In the final 100 meters, and Kishé Rowe begins to pull away. And she powers through the line. There'll be no stopping Kishé Rowe in this one. Kishé Rowe finishes now just ahead of Daniel King. She's being followed by Tishana Holgate. Thank <laughs> you. 
and now Jodian Campbell comes across the line. So Kite Rove of Alphonsus Davis are just ahead of the three athletes from Heidel. Some results from earlier in the class three long jump girls. Finishing third was Terry Candelis of Heidel in 4.54 meters. Second, Devonia Lewis of Merle Grove High, 4.59 meters. And finishing first was Tanahara Williams of Heidel, 4.65 meters. At the girls' class three long jump. So on track now, section one of two for the 1500 meters for boys. Class one listed competitors, Bygrave Jamaica College, Codling, Veer Technical, Francis Calabar, Fru, J.C. Blake, J.C. Witter, Margaret Brown, Calabar, Faulkner, William Nib, Ivory Heidel, Nemhard, Port Antonio, Barton, Veer Technical, and Fender Jamaica College. Six three there. A3 that's through out front, representing Jamaica College, the JC contingent that's leading the pack. This is the 1500 meters for class one boy. <coughs> Leading the pack at the moment, it's one, two, three for Jamaica College. So JC continues. Keep that advantage for them. One is one to watch, we understand. Two left to go through. Present. Fake. Javon Blake up front. Leading the team. I grave. So less than two left to go for this class. One, 1500 meters for boys. Two sections for this event. Blake pulling away slightly from his compatriots. As they inch closer to the bell lap, ladies and gentlemen, the 1500 meters for class one boys. JC one, two, three so far. Just about a lap to go. Yeah, 
Blake of Jamaica College, Fruva of Jamaica College, Bygrave. and Bygrave of Jamaica College, one, two, three, wearing six, four, four, representing Heidel, Ivory, and Fend of Jamaica College, rounding out the top. Ladies and gentlemen, 200 meters to go. Blake of Jamaica College, well ahead of the field, and consistently so. He's digging deep. I think this one will definitely want to see the time for this one. Just about 100 meters remaining. Javon Blake of Jamaica College coming into the straightaway. He significantly pulled away from his teammates. Javon Blake of Jamaica College. He crosses the line. Blake of Jamaica taking the first place. This section. Followed by Bygrave of Jamaica College. And it's true. Running out the top three. Coming through now is Idol Sanjay Ivory for fourth. But then down to the wire there, advancing pass is Barton of Beer Technical, beating Fender of Jamaica College. We're rounding up this section one of two of the 1500 meters for class one boys. Gonna make my way over to hear the time, the unofficial time for Javon Blake. Three fifty-nine sixty-five. Three minutes fifty-nine point six five seconds for Javon Blake of Jamaica College. Ladies and gentlemen, Javon Blake there of Jamaica College taking section one of two. In the meantime, all participants in the Javelin female competition kindly make your way to the competition area. Participants in the Javelin open competition for girls kindly make your way to the competition area. That activity will get underway momentarily. We remind athletes that as you make your way to the call room and your respective competition areas, you must be wearing your mask. Please ensure that this is worn properly. Covering your nose and mouth, also ensure that you make use of the hand sanitization stations established for your use and physical distancing guidelines are established. In the meantime, Antoine Witter, Antoine Witter of Magotte, we do have your number by the announcement so kindly make your way to collect that. As it's absolutely necessary for you to have that if you have any other activities to participate in. Antoine, with a magazine, kindly make your way for your number. It is by the announcement. Listed for section two of the 1500 meters, Ron Morgan, Fort Antonio, Marion Davis, Jamaica College, Neil Am College. Guard Awat, Falcon Empire, Kamal Kesner Calabar, Bernard Spencer Calabar, Shane Nesbeth Mushet, Kevin Brooks Calabar, Kamal Kejan Calabar, and Hanbal Robin, Jamaica College. and cleanly away there about their business. 
the second section for the 1500 meters for class one boys. Again, listed are Morgan Davis, Amberton, Abbott, Kessner, Spencer, Nesbeth, Brooks, Kajan, Groben. The time to beat 359, 6, that's 359.09. So as they come into the straightaway now, give you an idea of who's leading the pack. Jamaica College for sure. The whom? Hanbal Robin of Jamaica College, followed by Garth Abbott of Falcon. So those are your top two for this 1500 meters. A reminder also. All female athletes participating in the javelin competition kindly make your way to the competition area. Female athletes participating in the javelin competition kindly make your way to your competition area. So handball Robin of Jamaica College still out front. The leader appears to have changed somewhat, however. It looks to be Nesbeth. Mushet. Second, we'll confirm that for you in a moment, however, as they come into the straightaway. So it's the second section of the 1500 meters for class one boys. So handball of Jamaica College. Amberton. And Davis said, as you've heard, two laps to go for this 1500 meters. For class one boys, section two. It's coming down to the wire. JC, JC, JC. Just about 200 meters remaining in this lap. And the Jamaica College contingent still maintaining their dominance in this section. Robert Handball of Jamaica College still out front. Davis right behind. Amberton in third. It's the bell lap, ladies and gentlemen. Robin Hannibal of Jamaica College still up front. Hang on to that lead comfortably. As he extends to maintain, will he hold on to the finish? And it appears that way with just over 200 meters to go. Robin Hannibal of Jamaica College. Van Singh still, Amberton present, Davis present, all Jamaica College, just about 150 meters or so remaining, they're coming to the straightaway, Robin Handel, Handel Robin of Jamaica College still hanging on, ladies and gentlemen, welcome them home. Handel Robert of Jamaica College, you'll cross the finish line first. Ahead of his teammate, Marion Davis of Jamaica College. And Nelly Amberton of also of Jamaica College. At JC123. That's competed at 917. They are coming through the fourth position. Of course, we'll have the official results coming your way momentarily.
The winner from that one, Hanna Robin, 409.6, 401.69, my apologies, 401.69, Robin from Jamaica College. Oh, mm. oh, girl, yes. 1500 meters for girls class 2 on track and Matthew will give us that one in a moment I guess I'll have that one section 1 Appears to be the only section for this event. Clark, Port Antonio, Myers, Haida, Adams, Alfonso, Davis, Smith, Veer Technical, Johnson, Veer Technical, Johnson, Spearton, and Palmer Mushet are listed competitors for this one. That's event number 23, the class 2 girls, 1500 meters. Over to you, Matthew. Thanks, Javon. Seven competitors in this one, three laps to go. Section one of one. the class three boys long jump competition two listed competitors here this is Janoy Johan Smythe of Mushet 5.14 his best attempt ahead of uh, Lamar Miller Port Antonio 4.27 meters Just about two laps to go now in the class two girls 1500 meters at the front we have the bunch of Heidel, Veer Technical, Mushetai, Part now, just about a lap and 300 meters to go. Thank you, Matt. Place in the field, the class one boys long jump competition. Leading so far is Tyron Palmer of Mushatai, 5.65 meters. 5.65 meters. There for his second attempt. That's Tom of Mushatai, the class one boys long jump competition. We see that one 5.95 meters, still leading Tom of Mushat. So we're at the final lap now, and it's Heidel. Mushet. So it's Port Antonio leading Steer Town. That's Miss Shanil Clark from Port Antonio. Ahead of Katie Johnson of Steer Town. The third is Kayla Myers of Heidel and they approach just about 250 meters to run now. And we're seeing the gaps begin to open up on the track. Clark of Port Antonio leads now. Johnson is still there though. This one might be a fight to the finish. And a 
as we approach the final stretch, Port Antonio. With the ascendant now, beginning to move fastest of all down the track. And she begins to pull away from Johnson of Town, and she's definitely take this one. Crosses the line now, Clark of Port Antonio High, ahead of Johnson of Town. Fighting now for third of the line is Heidel. A big kick, and she takes it ahead of the athletes of Beer Technical. So much, Matthew. In the meantime, the next event on track will be the 1500 meters for class two boys. The listed competitors McFarlane, unattached, Johnson, Calabar, Mills, Jamaica College, Price, Jamaica College, Allen, Jamaica College, Brown, Port Antonio, Thomas, Calabar, Robinson, Calabar, Mattis, Lacovia, and Lawson, Jamaica College. Sent about their business there, ladies and gentlemen. The class, 1500 meters. Again. The class two boys, 1500 meters. One section listed. They're coming to the straightaway. Brown of Fort Antonio High. Slightly behind there, Jamaica College. We're in 6.92, that's Tyrone Lawson of Jamaica College with three laps to go. So Tyrone Lawson of Jamaica College, his teammate Price, T. Price, right behind him, and for third, of Port Antonio's Ainsley Brown. Calabar also advancing too in the form of Thomas. Rounding out, it looks to be Allen, JC. As they come around into the straightaway, so too is Brown. Two laps to go for this 1500 meters for class two boys. Lawson of Jamaica College, Price of Jamaica College, Brown of Fort Antonio, Robinson of Calabar, and Allen of Jamaica College. Two laps to go and Lawson still hanging on. A bit of a gap opening up between him and Price. Both of Jamaica College. Still consistent is Brown of Port Antonio. Robinson of Calabar. 
inching behind that fourth. They come up to the bell now. Lawson here up front. Lawson was the champion for class three for this event. The boys and girls championships last year. Coming here to stamp his mark on the 1500 meters. So Lawson of Jamaica. Brown of Port Antonio. Edging out Price of Jamaica College. The neck and neck. But look at Lawson. Roughly 80 meters behind field. Tyrone Lawson of Jamaica College. Just about 200 meters remaining for him. Of course, coming out here, doing pretty well at the start of the season. Brown of Fort Antonio at second in, at the moment. Price of JC right behind him. Just about 100 meters remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Lawson of Jamaica College. Still staying there. No question about his presence. The battle appears to be, however, between Brown and Price of Fort Antonio and Jamaica College, respectively. So as the Class 3 champion now advances to take this, the Class 2 boy, 1500 meters, Brown of Fort Antonio High will edge out Price of Jamaica College to take second and third, respectively. A foot. Looks to be Robinson of Calabar. To round out the top, top five, Jamaica College the form of Mills will seal the deal. Athletes still on the track here for the 1500 meters for class two boys. And Matthew will give us the link draw. Mm, Girls and then right. No, sir, still little. I know him now. The guy from Jay-Z. Jay-Z little than that. Yeah, Mr. Rat. Four minutes, 13.45 seconds. Four minutes, 13.45 seconds. The unofficial time there for the class. Two boys, 1,500 meters. That one going to Tyrone. <laughs> Lawson of Jamaica College. Oh my God. I don't know my company. Come, 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 come. Oh, come, 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 Ewan, Ewan of Beer Technical, Freta of Beer, Alison of Beer, and Walters of Alphon Alfonso Davis. Of no section one of one. I think now beginning to pack together. Ladies, you can break into lane one. Go 
Break into lane one. Break into lane one. Three laps to go. Very technical now leading the pack. Eight seven one. That's Chanel Powell of Bear Technical still out front. Her teammate Mills right behind her. And that's about two more laps remaining for this fifteen hundred meters for class three girls. Powell and Mills, both of Bear Technical. These are the class three ladies competing in the 1500 meters. Severe technical, form of Mills. For my apologies, the form of Powell. So Powell still up front. Our teammate Mills said there, this is the bell lap, ladies and gentlemen. It all comes down to this. Powell still hanging on. Our teammate still present. I'm going to the 865 in the form. Mills also present from there. Hang on for their life. Her teammates, all is down. All is down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt that Girl Technical will be in the mix. But the first thing is, Wolf of Girl Technical will take it. Powell, Alton, Powell of Girl Technical, still hanging on. Face off, Girl Technical, right, the sign is so close to all. That's what you call competition. Powell and Face are both of Girl Technical. Tampering across the line. Only the clock and the finish line technology will be able to tell us. Who took this one? Harding of Lakovia High will come through the third. Hyder. Feeling off. Five, 11.80 seconds. The winning time there confirmed for Allison of Very Technical. Allison of Very Technical getting that 
section. Lagos 3.359. Robin, what's 4 4 1 something? Robin? Yeah. The smallest. <laughs> on track the boys class 3 1500 meters Of their way now, Clark of Calabar, Green of Jamaica College. James of Palmer, Alasat, Johnson Calabar. Matthews, Jamaica College, Green, Calabar, Nelson, Anatat, Bacon, Jamaica College, Bernard, Mushetai. Clark, Jamaica College, Orin, Mushetai, Pakistan. And soon, Jamaica. <laughs> we have to go, Jamaica College, one, two, three, four. Jamaica College leading, but here comes Rat leading now. <laughs> rat leading now. <laughs> Green. Comrade. Taking the ascendant now. Smallest in the feet, biggest heart. Let go, Rat. Thank you, Matthew. One moment, please. We're asking officials from the discus competition area. One of the discus officials, kindly make your way to the announcer's booth. An official from the discus competition, kindly make your way. And I will quickly give you some quick results here for the women's discus throw. Winning that event is Shade Lawrence on attack, 59.38 meters. And Shamela Davidson 
unattached 50.74 meters that's for the women's discus throw official results matthew it's back to you so just, just about 500 meters to run now the pack has already broken into two at the front we have five athletes of jamaica college They're batting now with 200 meters to go. Pack at the three is getting competitive. Here comes Baker. Once more from Jamaica College. On an athlete on the outside now making a run. Comrade! Comrade! Sitting to the line, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the tall athlete from JC, number 673, powering to the line now. As he looks to the signs. Clark of Jamaica College ahead. Comrade! Of number 815. Followed by Baker of JC and Matthew. And as that segment concludes, some official results for you. This for the 1500 meters. And of course, a strong finish there for those gentlemen. And that event on track concludes. Again, official results for you for the class two boys, 1500 meters. Winning that event is Tyrone Lawson of Jamaica College. His time confirmed at 4 minutes 13 for 4 or 5 seconds. Second, Ainsley Brown, Port Antonio, 4 minutes 25 for 4 or 5 seconds. And third, Rashid Price, Christ, Jamaica College, yes, right. 4 minutes 27.29 yes, seconds. Let's do those again. Tyrone Lawson of Jamaica College, 4 minutes 13.45 seconds. Ainsley Brown of Port Antonio, 4 minutes 25.45 seconds. And third, Rashid Price, Jamaica College, 4 minutes 27.09 seconds. The official results there, ladies and gentlemen, for the 1500 meters for boys, class 2. All participants in the 60 meters open event, kindly make your way to the call room. Participants in the 60 meters open event, please make your way to the call room. 60 meters open athletes, kindly make your way to the call room. Then say open, you can go around.
time the 60 meters open event participants. All participants in the 60 meters open kindly make your way to the call room. 60 meter F, 60 meter dash open participants, please make your way to the call room. That is your final call. In the meantime, 400 meter athletes for class one. This is your first call. 400 meter dash athletes, class one. This is your first call. Winning that event overall, Javon Blake of Jamaica College, his time, 3 minutes 59.65 seconds. Good to see him on that. Followed by Handel Rubin of Jamaica College, also 4 minutes 01.69 seconds. And third overall, Romarian Davis of Jamaica College, 4 minutes 10.79 seconds. So winning the 1500 meters for boys, class 1 overall is Javon Blake. Of Jamaica College, this time 3 minutes 59.65 seconds. Those were the official results of the 1500 meters of last one.
Sixty bucks can event here, so we're asking the four hundred to ask you class one, boys and girls. This is your second call, four hundred meter athletes, class one. Boys and girls, this is your second call. The 60 meters dash open for men and women will run at the time as scheduled, which is slated for 3.40 and 3.45 respectively. So we'll be adhering to the scheduled time for those events. Meaning, the 400 meters slightly before, so we're asking Class 1 girls, the 400 meter athletes, can prepare yourselves to marshal. As a matter of fact, I've seen a number of the athletes there for the 400 meter class 1 girls present already. So, I will ask all other participants in that competition, if you are within the hearing of my voice and you're to be participating in the class 1 girls 400 meter, Please make your way to the call room. All class one, 400 meter girls, please make your way to the call room. I'm going to also invite the gentlemen, the class one boys, 400 meter athletes, to kindly make your way to the call room. Class one boys, 400 meter athletes, kindly make your way to the call room. For the class two boys and girls, Making this your second call, so be on standby. Class 2 boys and girls participating in the 400 meters, please be on standby. In the meantime, some more results for you, the 1500 meters for class 3 girls. Taking that event is Ashara Freighter of Bear Technical, her time 5 minutes 11.81 seconds. Just ahead of her teammate, Chanel Powell, registering a time of 5 minutes 11.82 seconds. And third for that 1500 meters event for class 3 girls is Janiel Harding, Lakovia High, 5 minutes 37.72 seconds. Those were the results for the 1500 meters for class 3 girls. Ladies and gentlemen, the official results for the 1500 meters for Class 2 girls. Winning that event overall is Chenille Clark of Fort Antonio High. Her time, 5 minutes, 08.58 seconds. Second is Katie Johnson, Stairtown Academy, 5 minutes, 11.87 seconds. 
and third, Kayla Myers. Tidal high, 5 minutes, 19.20 seconds. Those were the official results for the Class 2 girls, 1500 meters. Again, just an update of the schedule. At this time, we're marshalling the 400 meter class one girls and boys. And what will happen is that the 60 meters dash for women and men will take place at the scheduled time, which is at 3.40 and 3.45 p.m. respectively. So at this time, we have asked all participants in the 400 meter dash, boys and girls, for class one, their way to the marshalling area. We put on alert the participants in the 400 meters dash for class two boys and girls. So again, the 60 meters dash open for men and women will take place at 3.45 for the men, 3.40 for the women respectively, as is listed on your schedule. for the 1500 meters for class one girls. Winning that event overall is Kishé Rowe of Alfonso Davis. Four minutes 56.30 seconds. Second was Daniel King of Heidel. Five minutes 0 02.05 seconds. And third, Kishana of Heidel. Five minutes 11.46 seconds. Those were the results of the 1500 meters for class one girls. Ladies and 
gentlemen, section one of the 400 meters for class one girls. The listed competitors, Dana Dwyer of Heidel, Danica Thomas, Field Technical, lane two, lane three, Natalie Scarlett, Ultrarius, lane four, Matanski Foss of Magate, lane five, Nydia Chance, William Nib, lane six, Onika Wilson, Heidel, Lane 7, Alia Hilton, Ocho Rios. And Lane 8, Kalia Kelly, Real Technical. They're sent cleanly away there. First 400 meters traveling well on the inside is Dai of Heidel High, but let's look to the outside. Where Heidel landed, it looks to be Ocho Rios. Well, my, my apologies, Kelly of Beer Technical traveling pretty well at the moment. So that's Wilson and Kelly. Kelly of Beer Technical powering away. Almost 100 meters remaining in this one. Almost no question as they come into the straightaway. It's the who. So it's listed here, Kalia Kelly of Beer Technical. With the use of the outside lane, Beer Technical's Kelly. Kalia Kelly looking comfortably, comfortable and composed. She crosses the finish line now the first. Next best is her teammate, Kanika Thomas. And the third, Dana Dye of Heidel High. Fifty five point zero zero. Fifty five point zero zero the time there for the winner of this section.
section two on track next, the listed competitors are Tukey, Tukey Francis of York Castle, lane one, lane two, Ocelia Jones Magatti, lane three, should be Brianna Liston of Heidel, lane four, Taisha Baker Alphonsus Davis, lane five, Julian Sutton. Technical. Lane 6, Onika Mackinac, Heidel. Lane 7, Onika Brissett, William Nib. Lane 8, Shanil Graham, Magadou. Listed competitors for section 2 of 2 for the class 1 girls 400 meters. After which we'll have the class 1 boys, and Matthew will take us through that set. Section 2 of 2 on track next. But they're on track now as we anticipate the start of this section. Gentlemen, section two is looking to be a hot run. Francis Jones, Liston, Baker, Sutton, Mackinac, Graham, Brissett. The inside, Liston already traveling pretty quickly. She's representing Heidel. Someone says she's gone, but it's not too late yet. 200 meters remaining. Sophia Liston of Heidel High, her teammate traveling with her too. That's Mackinac running out of lane six. With 120 meters remaining, they come into the straightaway. Idle door, traveling together. Mackinac on the outside, Liston on the inside. Mackinac, Liston slightly ahead. Mackinac, however, stretching there. They're the players at the moment. Who will take it on the line? Mackinac, or even Mackinac of Idle crossing the line ahead of Brianna Liston. Idle. Seconds, 56.35 seconds going there for Onika Mackinac of Heidel High. That concludes the 400 meters class one girls. Matthew will now have the 400 meters for class one boys. As we wait for that segment, here are some official results for you for the long jump class three girls. Winning that event overall is Tanara Williams of Heidel. Her best attempts was 4.65 meters. Second, Dawena Lewis Murgrove, 4.59 meters. And third, Tarika Nelson Heidel, 4.54 meters. Those were the official results for the long jump class three girls.
was just a few minutes before the start of the class one boys 400 meters scheduled at six sections of events in section one Jamali Ferguson of Puerto Rico High, was in lane one Matthew Sullivan of Great Etnica was in lane two Sean J. Mason of Calabar in three Ricardo Williams unattached in lane four Quincy Wright of Puerto Rico High in five Santi McPherson of Magathe in six Tasmiel Christie of York Castle in seven and Wayne McGregor of Port Antonio High in lane eight Section 1 of the Class 1 boys, 400 meters. Some more quick results for you in the meantime, the Class 1 boys long jump competition the official results are Dermain Campbell Lacovia High his best attempt 5.99 meters second Kieran Palmer Mushet High 5.95 meters and third Tayer Harris Fort Antonio High 5.73 meters those were the official results for the class one boys long jump competition Again, section one of the class one boys, 400 meters, Ferguson, Sullivan, Mason, Williams, Wright, McPherson. <laughs> and McGregor. Stand behind your block. Sent away now from lane eight. That means from lane eight, McGregor moving very quickly on the back stretch. He shall point Antonio High with 200 meters to go. A big lead now. On the inside though, looks to be Williams. But with 100 meters to run, Wayne McGregor, holds the lead, managing now on the inside, on lane number 6, is going to be a battle to the finish, McGregor takes it, just ahead. Santi McPherson there finishing second behind McGregor. Five to the finish. At the time there, Matthew 55.66 seconds. 50.66 seconds. 50.66 seconds there. 50.66 seconds for the winner, McGregor. An exciting section one where we section two. 
So line up for this one. Amari Brown, I'm going to Rios, goes in in one. Errol Allen of Sanford in two. Bernard Spencer of Calabar in three. Kevin Brooks, Calabar in four. Antoine Robinson of Lacoge. That's Antoine Robinson. In five. Jonathan Ferguson of Ocho Rios in six. Craig Prendergast of Calabar in seven. And Raheem Brown of Ocho Rios in lane eight. And as we prepare for the start of that event, with some quick results for you, the long jump class two boys. Winning that event is also on the whole top of Mushet High. Registering 5.92 meters as his best jump. And second was Jason Miller of Fort Antonio High. 5.56 meters, his best attempt. The official results there for the long jump class two boys. We had a very exciting section one. Let's see what section two brings. And this is the class one boys, 400 meters. Brown of Ocho Rios in one, Allen in four, Court in two, Calabar, Spencer in three, Brooks of Calabar in four, Robinson of Lacova in five, Ferguson of Ocho Rios six. Canada, Calabar in 7, and Brown from Ocho Rios in 8. Section 2 and out in lane 7 as Craig Prendergast moving fastest of all. Head down the back stretch now. So Prendergast ahead of Ferguson. Just about 120 meters to run either. As they break into the final stretch, Prendergast leading comfortably. On the inside now, facing fast as well. That was Robinson of Lacovia. So Prendergast taking that one ahead of Robinson of Lacovia. Some results for you for the under for the class three boys long jump competition. Winning that event is Johan Romaldo Smythe of Mushetai. His best jump 5.18 meters. Second was Tyrese Mikkel of Port Antonio High. His best attempt 4.27 meters. Those were the official results for the long jump competition for class three boys. Up now for section three of six in the men's boys 400 meter class one. In lane one, Abante Morgan of La Cobra. In lane two, Abante Morgan of La Cobra. In lane three, 
Mark Mark at Parabar. And lane four, can you assemble third four times? Lane five, can you climb on a third four times? In lane six, join in Morgan of La Cunha. And in lane eight, Arthur Thompson at Antonio High. On your mark. and three of the boys, 400. On the inside, looks... So that's Mark Manuel with the lead at Palabar with 120 meters to run. On his outside, athlete from Lacovia. Jordan Morgan. There is a top two at the moment, but he will lead the charge to the line, and he will just ahead of Jordi Morgan of Lacovia. Some results for you for the 400 meters for class one girls winning that event overall is Katie and Kelly of their technical her time 55.14 seconds second was Onika Makan of Heidel 56.35 seconds and third overall Brianna Liston of Heidel 56.96 seconds those were the results for the 400 meter dash for class one girls Some more official results for you, the 1500 meters, class 3 boys, putting that event overall. Roy.
just before you go ahead, Matthew, a change to the lane assignment. So Jaden Murray is now added to the field. He is from Jamaica College and he's in lane four. So that's Jaden Murray. <sighs> Jaden Murray of Jamaica College, now in lane four for section four. So again, an addition to section four, Jaden Murray of Jamaica College down in 704, that's his number, 704. There's another addition, OJ Miller, his number 985, and we'll confirm that. Meantime, some quick results. Glory Clark of Jamaica College is the overall winner for the 1500 meters for class three boys. This time, four minutes, 49.18 seconds. Second, running unattached, Philip Palmer. This time, four minutes, 51.18 seconds. And third, Alex Baker of Jamaica College. Four minutes, 53.43 seconds. Those were the official results of the 1500 meters for class three boys. Again, winning that event is Rory Clark of Jamaica College. His time, four minutes, 49.18 seconds. So now for section four of the class one boys, 400 meters on track. Shamor Hines of Seertown, even in one. Lavon Douglas of Calabar, two. Devontae Haywood, Three. Murray of Jamaica College is in four. I don't know that part. In five, Ainsley Lane of Rare Technical. And in lane eight, Tyre Harris of Port Antonio High. Internet, you're going to go and 
on your mark. You can watch it live later on if you want to. They're off now. We're just about 250 meters run. Tyre Harris played it running well, but on the inside, Devante Haywood covered the field. As they come around the final bend now, just about 120 to run. Haywood on attack, leads the team on the outside. Battling with the athlete from Calabar for second is Harris, but this one is on Haywood. Just through the line first, well ahead of the competitors. With Harris, of course, and Tony in second. And some more Hines finishing third. Now the athletes in section 5, starting from the outside. Actually starting from the inside. Two, one. From Calabar is Kamal Kesna. In lane two, Brian Roach, Lakovia High. In lane three, Shand of Greater Fulmore. Lane four, Smith of Calabar. In lane five, the Noon of Jamaica College. In lane six, Lewis of Fort Antonio High. In lane seven, Trevon Prince of Jamaica College. And in lane 8, Javel Fullerton. But well, that's not Javel Fullerton. We'll get that correction shortly. Near Mark. Half an hour and is actually from Calabar doing the most work on the back stretch. Looks like Smith from Calabar. On his outside they're running well too. Prince from Jamaica College. So coming into the straight. Smith from Calabar. Battling with the athlete from Lakoga now, that's Roach. The Lakota College athlete for Phoenix is strongest. So now very close to Carl. It seemed to have been Prince of Jamaica College who took it on the outside in lane set. Just we do apologize for that breaking transmission there, but it does appear to be 
Prince, we're going to confirm that for you in a moment, Matthew. So Prince, running out of lane 7 of Jamaica College, he would have been confirmed the winner for that section. 50.53 seconds, 50.53 seconds, his time. So 50.53 seconds for Prince of Jamaica College. Final section will be on track next. Matthew. So the lineup for section 5. Registered to be competing in this section. Mr. Starter, hold the race, please. Stand up. Triple seven Mario. Triple seven.
So ladies and gentlemen, at this time we're going to be having the 60 meters for men and women. So we are going to... And ladies and gentlemen, you must understand that those events, as was announced earlier, are slated for 3.40 and 3.45 p.m. respectively. And they are running on time as scheduled. So the events are slated for 3.40 and 3.45 p.m. As was stated earlier, and they will be running according to that schedule. Waiting for the 60 meters open races. Once again, our participants in the 60 meters for men and women, you must make your way immediately to the call room. As was said earlier, your event is slated to take place in the brackets. 3.40, 3.45, you must be in the call room now. Your event is about to take place.
Ladies and gentlemen, on track next is the 60 meters dash open for men. We have seven in the field. Short put. Running out of lane one will be Kevin Dunn. Running unattached. Lane two. I'm, ask, Nicholas I'm Ruby asking on the line. Calabar. How did the short putters do? Uh, not too bad. Lane three. Javon White. On attack. Okay, you win. Yeah. 15 cent to one. Lane four. All right, thank Javine you very much. Did that Ruby. answer your question on, on the live? Yeah, right. live here. Lane five. All right, cool. Every Allen Legacy. <laughs> Lane six. Kason Barnes. And lane seven, Quincy Wright. Come, you have to come up here, so video man. Those are the lane draws for the 60 meters. <laughs> open <laughs> for men. Mark, why are you so No, 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 Right on attack. Javine Newby, lane four. Aubrey Allen, lane five. Keshawn Barnes, lane six. And Tracy Wright, lane seven. Once we get this event off, we'll resume the 400 meters. Yeah, it's okay to do so, reminding all present to ensure that you are adhering to the COVID 19 protocols, including wearing your mask, making use of the hand sanitization station and establish around the ground, and maintaining physical distancing. We must do so to adhere to the Ministry of Health and Wellness protocols. Here to sit down. Watch, come up here. Come up here, sir. Quiet for the start, please. <laughs> We hold for the start of this 60 meters dash, seven in the field. Men's 60 meters dash open. John and Newby White, Jay Newby, Allen, Barnes and Wright.
So we're going to be getting things in order to get this event on track. And of course, immediately after, we'll resume the 400 meters. I said it appears that much anticipation is doing for this section. The 60 meters open for men. Hearing beds looming. As we anticipate this section. Finally sent about their business there, 60 meters for men. On the inside we're seeing them, but look to the center of the road. This should be all the island. Lane 5. Lane 5, Aubrey Allen. Taking that to the 60 meters dash. For much anticipation, the man in black. Seven seconds flat. I'm being told. Seven seconds for that 60 meters. Well, it would appear there's a second section to the 60 meters dash. <laughs> and as it appears, I will hopefully have the names appearing before me momentarily. Well, it appears we have a second section to this 60 meters for men. The three gentlemen representing Jamaica College will contest. Hold the race, Mr. Sata, please. Mm -hmm. 
The Jamaica College here sent about their business. It looks to be someone running their the lane four. We'll confirm that for you in a moment, but that looks to be Salmon of Jamaica College. And that should conclude the 60 meters dash for men. 7.01 seconds. 7.01 seconds, the unofficial time there for Salmon, or who looks to be Salmon for Jamaica College. And that should be concluding the 60 meters dash for men. I'm being told that we'll have the 60 meters dash for women taking place next. So I'm being informed that we'll have the 60 meters for women taking place next. And as that information comes to me, I will relay further to you. We appreciate your cooperation as we'll get back to the 400 meters immediately after. <laughs> English is very worse than a bus ship man. Because what you're doing now, you're informing us. That's what you're coming to continue to do. So you were informed, that's why you get more information. You cannot do that you are being informed. Because somebody is still not talking to you while you're talking to them. Because you're not going to hear them. Again, we do apologize for the delay, ladies and gentlemen. The 60 meters women will get underway in a moment. Then we'll head back to the 400 meters. But some quick results for you. The javelin throw for boys open. Winning that event is Zavon Richards, unattached, 64.99 meters. Dorian Charles of Jamaica College, facing second, 57.03 meters. And Jamar Ferguson, Jamaica College, facing third, 49.50 meters. His best attempt. That's the results, official results for the javelin throw open for boys.
clearing the field for the 60 meters Cooper Hilton and in the center here Hilton running out and taking this the 60 meters for women so that's Hilton Alia Hilton of Ocheria Thai in the center they are taking that section Cooper was in that race And that concludes the 60 meters dash for women. We'll have those official results for you again, ladies and gentlemen. To apologize for the delay, we're going to head back to the 400 meters next. Eight point one one second. Eight point one one second. The winning time there for the 60 meters dash. So we're going to head back to the 400 meters. I think we're going to resume with the 400 meters class two girls. But as we prepare so to do, we're going to give you some results for the 400 meters dash class one boys. The results for the class one boys 400 meters dash. Winning that event overall is Devontae Haywood of, well, Devontae Haywood running unattached, 50.29 seconds his time. Second, Mark Manley, Calabar, 50.34 seconds. And third, Trayvon Prince of Jamaica College, 50.53 seconds. Those are the official results for the 400 meters dash for class one boys. draws ladies and gentlemen for section one of five for the 400 meters dash class two girls running out of lane two ashoya watt alphonsus davis lane three latanya johnson Veer technical lane four abigail campbell fern court lane five samoya bailey alphonsus davis lane six enrica sinclair Veer technical Lane 7, Tanique Taylor, Veer Technical. And lane 8, Mariah Taylor, Magati High. Those are the listed competitors for section 1 of 5 for the class 2 girls 400 meters. Just a slight change to section one. Tanik Taylor or Maya Taylor will not be in seven or eight. They have been replaced by an athlete from Greater Four More and William Navy, seven and eight. Could you confirm the numbers for those two athletes, Matthew?
Number 578. That's in 7. And 454. Four. In 8. In eight. Thank you so much, Matthew. So we're on the way now. Outside, moving best of all is still clear of the technical. Inside, Campbell. A point out. Third court, traveling well. They will still lead the race at 200 meters to go. Can't say anything. Very strong running so far from Sinclair. But on our inside, doing really well. The camera third court high as it's both turned for the 100 meter straight. Battling no home. Cambo takes the ascendant and she moves to the line very strongly. I thought she's showing here for third court high. And she takes section one of the class. Finishing second was still clear of real technical. We await the unofficial time for that one. We do apologize, we'll have a time for those in a moment. Our apologies. As we prepare for section two though, let's give you the official results for the Javelin Open throw for girls. Chelsea Eccleston of Bay Technical won this at a distance of 29.50 meters to win that competition. Sharika Christie of Hydel placed second with 28.30 meters. And Kevin Lewis of Hydel, 22.49 meters. Those were the official results for the Javelin throw open for girls. now for section two. For the class two girls, 400 meters in lane two. Avania William. A William Lewis. We apologize for the technical difficulties being experienced. Let's try that again. As we hope to resolve Mr. Brown, the technical issues with Matthew's mic. Let's try the lane draws. As we see them on the list, Hill of Heidel should be in lane one. Lane two should have Williams of William Nib. Lane three appears to be empty. Lane four, Madden Bear Technical. Lane five, Glasgow Fern should be Glasgow Fern Court. But what we'll do is have the confirmation of the ladies in the track and then we'll get back to you. Yeah, in the bus. Go, go up, straight up. I'm on top shop, there's something there. I'm going to buy it. On your mark. Somebody say you can't, girls are still on road. You have to go on the road. Yeah, you can't go up. Or Step on it first. 
Nou, hier laat het klein. Stand up. A cool, cool one. On your mind. Okay, they are now by feet of Lapurva moving well on the back stretch. Huh? On the inside, tall figure. That's a muddy. Moving well as well on the inside, even further though. Avania Williams, a William Meg. So with 150 meters to go, by feet on the outside being challenged by Williams on the inside of William Meg. And then they approach Tom now, Lavanya Williams has a slight advantage. Five feet challenging on the outside there. This one should be close to the line. Five feet now with the lead. And she will cross the line ahead of Williams as William Moog. Five feet now back over takes it. William Moog with Lavanya Williams finishing second. Some quick results for you as we anticipate the next section, the section three of five for this event. The official results for the short put event for boys class one. Josh Tate Brown of Jamaica College winning that event. His best throw, 14.95 meters. Second was Jalen Codlam of Jamaica College, 14.54 meters. And third, Antoine Walker Calabar, 14.13 meters. Those were the official results for the Class 1 boys shot put. Stand behind your block. On your mark. Best of all out of lane four from the technical on the back stretch. Makai to trying to go with her from lane out of lane eight. Those two approach the corner first. But Athorna Williams, a very strong run so far. With about 150 meters to go. So it's all in front of William as we approach the home screen now. Samir Clark 
on the inside from Port Antonio trying to fight but there's been no catching Williams from very technical finishing second looks like Tatiana McFarlane Official results for you, ladies and gentlemen. The class two girls with shot put in that event is Chindoy Raymond of Heidel High. Her best throw 11.42 meters. Sharika Christie of Heidel second 10.85 meters. And then Atisia Burrell Heidel High 10.03 meters. Again, Chin Raymond Heidel 11.42 meters. Christie Heidel 10.85 meters. And Atisia Burrell Heidel 10.03 meters. The official results there for the girls' shot put class two. Section 4 or 5 now on track for the girls, class 2, 400 meters. In lane 1, Natasha Boyle of Heidel. In lane 2, Cheyenne Cooper, William Mid. In lane 4, Anastasia Smith, very technical. In lane 6, Corey Palmer, very technical. In lane 7, Felicia Sims, Lakovia High. And in lane 8, Whitehorn of Heidel. Stand behind your block. Trish, the class oh. one and on one, your mark. 400 meter gun already, no sir? What time you want to be one up with it? No, that's not going to be. Class one, 400 meter. Oh, 400. Yes, class one, 400 meter gone already. Sent off now. My quick start out on lane eight. From white or in a high end. Going with her though. It's the Palmer. So the class two girls. So the class one and class okay, technical. Those two, two boys. Have extended their lead on the back side. Yeah, gone already. Also running one on the inside, Barrel of Hydra. She's in the one though. From lane number six, Corey Palmer, very technical, who will take it. Head of Natasha Borel, and finishing third, her teammate, Whitehorn of Idel.
test. On track now, section 5 of 500. Girls, class 2, 400 meters. Chambers of William Lewis. Lane 3, Myers of Hyder. So these are the listed athletes, ladies and gentlemen. Lane 4, Rihanna Williams, Wiltek. Lane 5, Corey, Hyder. Lane 6, Alana Reed of Hyder. And in lane 7, Shanita McDonald of Hyder. On your mark. the process of the bunch. On our inside. Williams of the technical also pressing. There's two hands to the goal. Heidel leads Heidel on the inside now though. Looks to be Shanil Clark. Just about 50 meters to go. It's athlete from Port Antonio. Shanine Clark who will take this one ahead of Tafia Gori. Tarifa Gori of High Hill. Some results here. <laughs> Audio check testing for clarity and volume. There we go. Official results of the class two boy shot put. Winning that event, Zachary Campbell, Jamaica College. His Best throw 15.71 meters. Second, D'Angelo Jackson, Jamaica College, 13.83 meters. And third in that shot put event for class two boys, Christopher Orange, very technical, 12.18 meters. Those were the official results for the shot put for boys, class two. Gentlemen, on track now is the 400 meters dash for class two boys. Listed for section one of five are Corday Forbes, Lakovia, his teammate Roshan Smith. Out of lane four, Dorville Jackson, Calabar. Lane five, Tyreek Robinson, Greater Portmore. Lane six should be Khalil Marshall, Jamaica College. Lane 7, Lenworth Chung, Calabar. Lane 8, Joshua Wint, William Mill. And Robinson appears to be missing from the field.
Stand behind your block. On your mark. Set. Set about their business, they are fourth Smith, Jackson, Marshall, Chung, and Wint in the field. The Calabars, Jackson, traveling pretty well at the moment. Teammate on the outside, Chung, is doing so too. He's being chased by Smith of Lakovia. So at the moment, on the inside, Jackson of Calabar strongly traveling. Smith of Lakovia, so too. 200 meters remaining in this, the class two boys, 400 meters, the first section, neck and neck. Smith, Lakovia, Jackson, Calabar, as they come into the straightaway. Jackson of Calabar appears to be slightly Edging out, Lakovia, Smith, so it's Jackson of Calabar, advancing ahead of the field. Bogle, Jackson of Calabar, will cross the finish line first, ahead of Smith of Lakovia, then Marshall of Jamaica College. Fifty-two point nine three seconds. Fifty-two point nine three seconds. The unofficial time there for Jackson of Calabar. Next on track is section two of five for this four hundred meters for class two boys. In lane two should be Tariq Moody, Ferncourt. Lane, lane five, Davian Henry, Calabar. Lane six should be Shamar Smith, Bear Technical. Lane seven, Kevin Brown, Port Antonio. And lane eight, Lucane Linton, Ferncourt. So lane two should be Moody of Ferncourt. Five eight two in lane two. So there is a change to section two. We have come back to the 582 running from lane two. We ask that if there are any changes to the lane draws, we must know before. Thank you for your cooperation. On your mark. Sent about their business there, section two on the outside. It looks to be Linton of Ferncourt traveling pretty well. Let's not count up branch of Jamaica College on the inside. The race appears to be hot on the back stretch. Linton, Ferncourt, Brown of Port Antonio traveling well. But on the inside, Jamaica College's branch, Jabari branch. Definitely running at the counter at the moment. The outside is hot, but the inside is too. Jabari Branch of Jamaica College on the inside, coming through to the straightaway they come. Port Antonio on the outside in the form of Brown, slightly ahead of Branch of Jamaica College. They come towards the finish line. Port Antonio High is Brown, slightly ahead of Branch of Jamaica College. It's Brown of Port Antonio High who will finish ahead of Branch Jamaica College. 
And this looks to be lane six, the form of their technical Shamar Smith coming through for third. So Brown of Fort Antonio getting first for this section two of five to 400 meters for class two boys. Good job, Jabari. As we move to section three, the lane draws as listed. Lane two should have Raquel Reed of Calabar. Lane three should have Sedan Sinclair, very technical. Lane four, Seymour William Nib. Lane five, Barry Ocherios. Lane six, Lynch York Castle. Lane seven, Seville. Greater Portmore and Lane 8, Braham, Calabar. And as it appears, the lineup appears to be as listed. Seven seven four lane seven. Seven seven four running from lane seven. We we'll confirm the name of that individual in a moment. Osman Holt of Moshe Tai. Game. On your mark. Set. Mark. See that one. Centennial, we're about their business there. Six in the field. Read of Calabar. But on the outside, Braham, his teammate, traveling well. You see the addition to lane seven, Osmond Holt, traveling well too. Further inside to Reed of Calabar, making good ground with 200 meters to go. They come around the bend. Hearing some cheers from the gentleman from York Castle in the form of Lynch. And with just about 100 meters to go, Calabar's Reed is coming in here. A slight advantage at the moment. Reed of Calabar pumping. Looking composed on the outside. Hold of Mushakai trying to keep up. But Rotary Reed. Reed of Calabar ahead of Osman Holt of Mushakai added to lane 7. Fifty-two point four seven seconds. Fifty-two point four seven seconds. The unofficial time there for Reed of Calabar. Let's have the listed competitors for section four. The penultimate of this class two boys four hundred meters. Listed in lane two is Damian McLean of Vare Technical. Lane three should have Patrick Johnson Vare Technical. So I'm going to ask, I'm seeing changes to the lane draw. So if they are, can we confirm those, please? Babsy, you're needed. Mr. McGowan, we'd appreciate your presence at the announcer's booth. Stand behind your block.
On your mark. Stand behind your block. Mr. McGowan. On your mark. We'll confirm the finishing for you in a moment. So ladies and gentlemen, next on track will be the 400 meters dash for class three girls. We have listed eight segments.
So just before the Class 3 girls, we'll have a 400 meter men's event. Ready to compete. Malik James King will go in lane 2, Carpenter in 3, On your mark. Four on track now to athletes out of lane four running best of all. Now 200 meters. Just about 120 meters to run. Malik James King beginning to make a move on the inside and he will take the lead in this race. He's in the final 80 meters now. James King pulling away with a very fast finish. Take the men's 400 meters. Forty-eight point five zero. Forty-eight point five zero. The time there for that finish. Just before we head back, well, as, well, let's take the race first, and then we'll give you some quick results. Stand behind your block. On your mark. And they're off now. Beckford, Reed, Crossfield, Daly, Willis, and Oliver. Those are competitors for section one of the class three girls, 400 meters. Moving best of all in the back stretch seems to be Oliver of their technical. And on the inside from Heidel, making a move now is Tiana Reed. But Oliver, after a very fast start, Reed needs some catching up to do. Hundred and twenty meters to run now. Tiana Reed beginning to close on the inside. And she will come into the corner first into the straight first. She is ahead of Oliver. 
And now in the center of the chat, looks like Crosby beginning to close on Reed. Will she be able to hold on? And she does. So Reed will hold on to take section one just ahead of Crossfield of their technical. Some quick results for you here. The 60 meters dash open for men. The official winner of that, Aubrey Allen of Legacy Athletics, seven seconds. Sanjay Salmon of Running on Attack, 7.01 seconds. And third, Tayshawn Barnes, Teartown Academy, 7.01. 1-3 seconds. The official results there for the 60 meters dash for men open. Results for the 60 meters dash for women. Just three competing there. Alia Hilton of Ocho Rios, 8.11 seconds would have won that event. Amelia Thompson of William Nib, second, 8.58 seconds. And third, Alvanessa Cooper, also of William Nib, 8.91 seconds. Results here for the 400 meters dash open for men. Malik James King of Legacy registering 48.50 seconds to win that. Second was Akeem Henry, unattached, 51.83 seconds. And third, Anthony Carpenter, Legacy, 55.60 seconds. Official results there for the 400 meters dash open for men. On your mark. I'm moving very well out of lane five. That's Jay and Bailey and Heidi and Sia from two and two of this room now. Sia from marketing on the outside also running well. But now with 120 meters to go, Jody and Daly are coming to the straight first. I think they are beginning to tire now. So Jody and Daly are tied down. She's being followed by Rosa Stewart of Magathy. Those are your top two. As Bailey crosses the line. Section three now. So you're starting for section three. In lane three, it's to be Tiffany Watson of Lacovia High. In lane four, So just to reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, please be wearing your mask and observing social distance. On your mark. Sent off now for section three. Watson. On the outside running well though, Karim Tate of Highland High. She's in lane eight. Looks to be Bella Fonte of Margaret is in lane seven. Giving chase to Karim Tate. 
as they approach 200 meters to run. With just about 100 meters to go. So that's actually Sasha Shu heading. Come here, there. Come on. Of course, a reminder to each and everyone on the ground before we head to the next section. You must adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. We have been doing well from morning and we don't want, as we come closer to the end of the event, things become different. So we're asking you to ensure that you are maintaining physical distancing. I'm looking at the call room now and I'm not seeing that six feet apart. If you're in the same team, it's a different story, but you need to be keeping distance between yourselves Six feet apart, please. The mask must be worn by all patrons, patrons and athletes present. I'm reminding you, you must adhere to the protocols. I'm again referencing the call room and I'm not seeing any difference. If you're not in the same team, separate from each other. Extra fries, extra fries. Stand behind your blocks. On your marks. Set. Section four of eight, no one track. Harding, Nelson, Dwyer. Daya, Smiley, Tate, Mitchell, Belafonte, and Tate. Those athletes competing now. Athletes on high, they're running very well. Now at the 200 meter mark. Belafonte in a mix of things. So now as they turn for home. Aneta Mitchell, she leads, her teammate, Kalin Smiley, finishing strongly now though, and being a bit of fun to have mother too. And she will take this one with a last minute surge out of lane 7, that's Alvina Belafonte from Magati. Just ahead of Aneta Mitchell of Highland.
stand behind your block. On your mark. Dr. Cummings, Comrie, Williams, Wright, it seems like Denise Dunkley has the early lead, on the inside Sabrina Dufford beginning to make a move, there's two in the field, the 200 meters to go. I think I'm okay there now. Seems to be stepping on the gas. As she swings into the, the straight with the lead. Rather big lead as well. And if she can maintain her composure, she should be able to take this section 5 for the girls class 3, 400 meters. So Sabrina Docker takes it. Head of the athlete from Beer Technical, Nika Comrie. <laughs> Youngster. Youngster. I'm going to talk to you now. Section 6 of 8, no one shot for the girls, class 3, 400 meters. Seven of the eight lanes are occupied. In lane one, Bianca Linda of Bear Technical. In lane two, Selena Wizard of Bear Technical. In lane three, Shanoya Scott of Bear Technical. In lane four, Nastasia Fletcher, Hayden. In lane five, but there's no lane 5, lane 6, Siobhan Thomas, very technical. That's actually Ramina Williams of Hyden in 6, Janoya Mesquito, very technical in 7, and Danica Doyle, Mother High in 8. Stand behind your block. Lane 2, stand behind your block. On your mark. Set. Up on the way to go. We're technically in one, two, three. Hyden in four. And six. And it's the athletes from Hyden who take the early lead. That's Nastasia Fletcher and Romina Williams. And outside running well. Mosquito. A very technical. With just about 150 meters to go, those four athletes have bunched into the corner. We wait to see who will take the first. It's definitely so going to be a fight to the finish on the inside now as well. Looks to be Wizard of Air Technical. So Wizard of Air Technical, battling with Fletcher of Heidel. And Fletcher of Heidel begins to swing to the line. And she will take it ahead of Wizard. Mm. With Danica Doyle finishing fast for third. Can my child finish off with all the girls and then they go to the boys? Good morning. 
Uh, Next on track there. section 7 of 8, the penultimate section in the girls class 3, 400 meters. Out in lane 8, Martina Matam starts from Bay Technical in lane 7, Rihanna Neal, Heidel in lane 6, Aleki Reynolds and Pantos Davis. In lane 3, Shantoy Goldburn, Magati High. In lane 2, Alena Spencer, York Castle. And in lane 1, Kellyanne South, Alphonsus Davis. So no lane 4 or 5 in this one. Stand behind your blocks. All your marks. One knee must be on the ground, lane three. Thank you. Set. And they sent off now. Miranda Neal got went off very quickly. So too, did, so too did Martina Maxima there. And those two get under the back stretch first. On the inside, Shanto and Goldberg trying to go with them. Mm. As they approach the 200 meter mark, looks to the Rihanna Neal, who has the lead ahead of, Sh of Spencer. So it's all even going now, and they approach the final straight. Looks like it's going to be a battle between the athletes from Heidel and Shantel Goldburn of Madati. Both are finishing strongly. Goldburn looking to edge ahead of her now, and she does so, taking the win. In section 7, finishing second was Rana Neal of Heidel. On track now, section 8 of 8 in the class 3 girls, 400 meters. Four athletes on track. But this one. Early, early. Yes, the morning cool. <laughs> if you know anything about money, you'll know that it's cold. On your mark. Set. They're off now. Brianna Brown of La Cobra. She's there. Renika Bell of Bay Technical. Shemoni Crazy of High Bell. Then best of all seems to be Bell. Come on. And they're going to 200 meter mark now. You know if you have a couple? What am I teaching at this? Brianna Brown. Just about 120 meters to go. She takes the lead. And she will hold it into the street. So it's 80 meters to go. It's Brianna Brown of La Cobra. Can I get a medal, please? 
So we need a medic at the stands. That's right next to us, known as Boot. A medic, please. Oh, you know, I'm not. You know, you're not. Calling for medical personnel immediately. Make your way to the stand. Medical, please. Make your way to the stand immediately. Stand behind your block. On your mark. <laughs> Sent about their business there. That's the first section of the 400 meters for class three boys. Calabar on the inside in the form of Williams up to the outside. Query of Jamaica College traveling pretty well. So Williams of Calabar on the inside. Perkins also appearing in the mix representing Calabar too. 200 meters remaining. Section one of three for the 400 meters for class three boys. They come around the bend. They come into the straightaway. I think Jamaica College's Samuel Query on the outside. He travels by Calabar's Williams is still holding on. Here is the Calabar contingent making some noise here. Black of Jamaica College present too, but on the outside, Query, Samuel Query of Jamaica College hangs on for the victory. And on the finish line there, Calabar's Kajon Williams takes it just ahead of Rajay Black of Jamaica College. That's the first section of the 400 meters for class three boys. In the meantime, we're asking for all participants in the 4x800 meters event, both male and female. Please make your way to the marshalling area. All participants in the 4x800 meters, kindly make your way to be marshaled. All 4x800 meter athletes, both boys and girls, kindly make your way to the marshalling area. All 4x800 meter athletes, please make your way to the marshalling area. Fifty-six point zero one seconds. Fifty-six point zero one seconds. There, the unofficial time for Samuel Query of Jamaica College. <laughs> Section two is on track next. Running out of lane two should be Melton Pinedo, Greater Portmore. If him not appearing, we have. Wayne Lindo of Calabar in lane two. <laughs> Let's do that again. Pinedo, Greater Portmore. Lane two. Lane three, Lindo, Calabar. Lane four appears to be empty. Lane five, McCall, Jamaica College. Lane six, Lawrence, Lacovia. Lane seven, Miller, Calabar. And lane eight, Dunkley, Calabar. On your mark. Set. Sent about their business there, section two of three. We could start on the outside there for TNA Dunkley of Calabar. But let's look to his teammate on the inside. Wayne Lindo. The Calabar gentleman. Looking pretty good. On the inside, as he said. Lindo. Sing to. Sing to. 
Miller and Dunkley as they come around the bend into the straightaway will confirm for you from Calabar is out front. It appears to be Lindo on the inside of Calabar. His teammate on the outside, Miller. And Dunkley. Dunkley, however, right behind Lindo. But Lindo substantially leading the field. Running from lane three, Quayne Lindo. Quayne Lindo of Calabar, followed by his teammate. Dunkley and Ben Miller. We're making the call again for the 4 by 800 meters. All athletes, you must report immediately to the call room. This is your final, final call. All participants in the 4 by 800 meters, you must make your way to the call room immediately. That's both boys and girls. Please make your way to the call room right now. Being told 53.96 is the unofficial time there. 53.96. For Lindo there of Calabar. In the meantime, we have the some documents here for Garth Abbott. So if you can make your way to the announcer's booth, we'll be able to get those documents to you. Garth Abbott, make your way to the announcer's booth so we can get the documents to you. Section 3 is on track next. This is in lane 2. And we'll send that race off first and then give you the lane draw. Stand behind your blocks. Mark. Not getting in voice mail. On your mark. Sent about their business there, section three. So it looks to be Port Antonio Simpson. to the straightaway here. We're seeing lane three. Simpson, Dante Simpson traveling pretty well and leading the field. As a matter of fact, he's substantially leading the field. Hey. Very technical behind him for second, but it's Dante Simpson of Fort Antonio, followed by very technical. Fifty-four point zero five seconds. Fifty-four point zero five seconds the unofficial time there for Simpson. Next on track, the class four boys, 400 meters, four sections to this one. Told only one section will go for this the class four boys 400 meters 
And I also understand that that will be where we leave things for this year is Tizer Mills Classics. On your mark. Set. Set about their business hey, hey, there. Hey, hey, young man. For the first time of Austin, the final event on track for this year's Kaiser Mills Classics 2021 here at GC Foster College. Contingent from Mather to traveling pretty well at the moment on the back stretch, so too is Jamaica College. But inside, there looks to be so as they come into the straightaway, I'm gonna be giving you who's out front. So that's lane four. Michael Callahan of Jamaica College. Blazing the field. Callahan of Jamaica College still out front. Magazine the form of Samuel and Brown hanging on. But Callahan will defend and be stamped in the history book to close the Tizer Mills Classics for 2021. In fine fashion for Jamaica College. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the final event on track for this year's Tizer Mills Classics 2021. I want to thank all our sponsors on behalf of the organizers and the meet directors. Thank you, the schools, for making it Tizer Mills this year. We want to also thank all of the personnel on the ground who would have prepared to ensure that we could have had this event. That's for all, folks. Year. Of course, Michael Cole running for next hot. year again. We we'll link up back on the next we'll track. Be right mate. here at Tizer Mills Classic. Have a good evening. God bless. Before we go officially, door, I have one last set of results here for you. The official results for the Class Two girls, 400 meters.